Um, hello, everyone. My name is Shabnam Brookbank, and I'm an Afghan refugee living in Wales. Um, I'm very pleased today and also very happy, but a little bit nervous as well. So please, please bear with me. Uh, today, I have been asked to talk about my journey uh, through education since I arrived in UK and how education has empowered me and how education has helped me to integrate into society. And most importantly, how education has changed my perspective to help other refugees to integrate into society and have a social life out of their houses. So basically my background, I am, I have married a non-Muslim British citizen, which went against my family's value, tradition, dignity, honor, and basically everything. So I have to, I had to leave my country and escape from my country. After lots of failed attempts and rejections, Home Office finally accepted my resettlement in the UK in mid-2019, just under one condition that my husband will be fully responsible for me and my son once we arrive in the UK. I arrived in UK in uh, 1st of October 2019, and I settled in Mikeford with my son. But my husband had to return back to the country that he was working because he had to financially support us. First few months were very not easy for me, to be honest, because I was feeling very much isolated. I was feeling alone. I was feeling like I was cut from the rest of the world because I wasn't able to do driving. So one of, um, as I am refugee and I'm registered with Welsh Refugee Council, and I do have a work coach in there, she advised me that uh, perhaps I should uh, consider Wrexham to, to move in to Brixham. And she suggested that I should join one of the refugee groups. I went there once and surprisingly, I was discriminated by refugees in there because I married a non-Muslim and they thought I'm a very bad person because I went against my family and I went to marry a non-Muslim. So, Part of me felt that if I move to Warwickham, not only it will pose a danger to myself and my husband, but also it will pose a huge danger to my child. That's why we, we parked the idea of moving to Warwickham. And um, oppositely, Welsh um, Powers County Council helped me to uh, move into Welshpool. I currently live in Welshpool and I love Welshpool. What a nice area, very kind and generous people. So uh, my husband lost his job on 1st of July and he came back to country. We applied for universal credit. Once our claim was approved, then we were assigned um, a work coach. Uh, after speaking with my work coach, I felt that I'm part of a community. My work coach encouraged me to apply for different jobs, which I did, but I was unsuccessful in all of them. And then my work coach assigned me to different work coaches of different uh, providers to upgrade my skills and help me find a job. And uh, I was speaking with one of my work coach and I specifically asked her for employ employability in HR, human resources, cause I do have over three years of experience in HR. But uh, surprisingly, she told me that uh, the experience that I have in HR is outdated my bachelor degree is not recognized in UK. The certificates that I have achieved while working in the HR is not recognized as well. So I should start looking for jobs in supermarkets like cleaning jobs, that sort of jobs, which honestly made me feel very bad. I cried because it made me feel very much useless. And uh, I felt very much discriminated the way that she spoke with me. But I did not discourage, I did not lose my hope. Again, I concentrated on my language skills. I can speak five languages. So I spoke with my work coach and I asked him for some sort of English certificate, which could help me to secure a job in interpreting or, tra or translation. And he referred me to Adult Learning Wells and passed me Miss Cecilia's uh, phone number. I spoke with Miss Cecilia and she encouraged me to join Audit Learning Wells. And I must admit, thank God I call her and I spoke with her, my God. The best thing that has happened to me since arriving UK was speaking with Mr. Cecilia and joining Audit Learning Wells. It has <laughs> 
changed my life. It totally went, if I compare my life from 2019 to 2021 and this month, it's totally opposite. It's changed my life in a very nice way, in a positive way. And then I joined Others Learning Wells. I uh, went through different classes with them. Like um, I participated in interviewing skills, CV writing, uh, employability skills, essentialist skills, in buying and selling online and EET. In other learning wells, I have not just met very amazing, talented teachers like Mr. Sam or Ms. Tracy, but also I have met such an amazing educated classmates. My God, they were awesome. I have learned so many things from them that I can't believe it. They helped me to understand more education system of UK, how it's working in UK, um, like education wise. But also, other learning wells has helped me to boost my confidence. Before, when I was looking myself into a mirror, I was not recognizing that this is the shotgun that I used to be. But now I'm very proud of myself. I'm very happy. And this sense is amazing. Also, other learning wells has helped me to uh, actually, they paved the ground for me to secure a job, which is an amazing opportunity for me. Currently, I'm working with East, which is East Youth and Minority Support Team as a support worker. I'm helping refugees the same way that I was helped to integrate into society, to solve their problems, to give them this confidence to help them to realize that how amazing countries were UK and how amazing our people are Welsh to help them realize these all benefits that they can get out of this amazing situation. So um, in, in general, I can say in a conclusion, Raymond William uh, believed that education is so, for social purpose, for social values. And I feel I'm a very real example of it because education has not just given me their purpose and value, but also it has helped me to pass this purpose and values to other refugees that currently I'm working with. And hopefully, I'm hoping that I would be observing some ESOL classes and I will be delivering some ESOL uh, classes for refugees and other learning worlds. Ho hopefully, in the future, I'm very not sure about it. But um, thank you so, so much for listening to my story today. It was a very pleasure talking with you. And I hope you all enjoyed my story, um, the, the life that I have lived in these years which has empowered me, helped me, and also now I'm helping others. Thank you once again. I hope you all enjoy. Bye for now.